So unfortunately, a couple months ago, I did sell the Mooney. Uh, I'm down in Oklahoma right now for Air Force UPT, and I didn't really think I would have enough time to really fly the thing a whole lot. So I got rid of it to a guy up at uh, the airport where I was at in Iowa, and uh, it's been flown a lot. It's been love, so that's really good. Um, wasn't really time to move on. It was maybe a little bit premature, but I'm never really one to dwell on things. And so it's been about two months now and I've already found another project. So I was browsing on Barnstormers, as one does, and unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, came across this uh, partially started Lancer 235 kit. Uh, so Lance Nybauer started this project in the early 80s. Um, he wanted a pretty slick plane, and by 1984, he brought the Lancer 200 to Oshkosh. A bunch of people were impressed by it and really wanted kits, so he sold the 235 kit. This is the first one that was sold, or I guess the 200 kit, um, as a 235 kit. And a lot of people were putting uh, Lycoming 0235s in these, which are about a 115 horsepower engine. Uh, and I think those earlier ones would, would pretty typically cruise about 140 or 150 knots, which is really good for such a low horsepower engine. Later on, people started putting uh, 0290s and more commonly uh, 0320s in this model specifically. And then after this, they moved on to the 320-360, which had some minor tweaks. It was a little bit taller cabin, a little bit bigger tail to deal with the heavier engines. And then, of course, they moved on to their newer designs. But this one is a really good condition kit. I, I can't believe we've, I found it nearly as complete as this and got it like this. Uh, it has been started a little bit, so the previous builders joined the two halves of the fuselage together. There's some bulkheads that were put in back here. I just have the seats in this just to kind of mock things up. This isn't on either. Uh, and the, so the Longerons have been put on, the firewall has been put on. Uh, so it has a decent start. The next steps are gonna be basically, uh, he, he mostly completed the spar. So all the controls are in there, the supports for the landing gear, the main gear, and then the uh, wing spars themselves look like they're, they're pretty much done. I've been kind of poking through the plans and looking through the paperwork to kind of figure out what I need, where we're at. Um, so as far as I can tell, the next step is to put the main spar in the fuselage. But uh, this, is, uh, this is kind of the haul that we got. So this uh, did come with a dynafocal engine mount. So this is for like a 320 or uh, I could put a 360, but it would probably be way too heavy and be a, kind of a pain to fit. I'd have to do a lot of custom cowling work. But yeah, these are kind of the pieces. We got, I think, uh, ailerons over here, maybe flaps. That's the tail over there. Canopy, obviously, right here. Um, horizontal stabilizers right there. I think these are the wing roots. So the, the way this works is the, the wing roots themselves will come out to about here uh, with that main spar. And the gear attaches to that, and that's all one piece. That's glued together. So the wing itself starts, you know, maybe like three or four feet out from the fuselage. So if you remove the wings, you can still keep this up on its gear. And I think that'll help maybe with transporting it. I don't know. I certainly don't think I'll get that far um, before it has to get moved. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, over here we've got, obviously it came with a cowling. And I just have this kind of mocked up just so I can visualize it. Um, here's a lot of the like landing gear legs. These are the main gear legs, uh, torque tubes for flaps, I believe. Yep. Flat, flap attachment weldment, uh, linear actuator for that. Um, I'm guessing this is hydraulic. Yeah, this looks like hydraulic actuators. So the gear is, uh, electro hydraulic, which is interesting to me because it seems a little bit overkill. Um, yeah, I mean, you got tires. I know these are a little bit older. They're using the kind of the donut style like the Moonies have. I've been told to replace these with a modern spring strut. Uh, hydraulic pumps over here, uh, pedals, hoses. It's, it's relatively complete. I, the only thing that's really going to need is like electrical and lights. And um, obviously, I'm going to need to get some new epoxy and some, uh, you know, new activator or whatever it is to kind of get this going. But yeah, overall, just about everything's here which is really incredible. A lot of the tools, we've still got you know, a bunch of uh, fiberglass cloth left. If I need to do any work there, although I might start using carbon fiber instead, we'll see. But yeah, overall, fairly complete kit. There's the belly pan. We've got some foam pieces that were already kind of cut out, and there's some extra foam somewhere else. But um, I will be working on this project over the years. Uh, currently, I think I'm going to be in Oklahoma for about another year or so. It could be less. I'm really not sure. It could be a lot more. But uh, regardless, I don't think this is going to get done in that amount of time. With UPT, I do not have a lot of spare time. So I'm going to be trying to work on it best I can. But ultimately, the goal is to just get the fuselage mostly assembled, get it up on its feet, 
And then when I go to move, I have less pieces. It's just this big piece, and then maybe I can get started on the wings or something. But I don't want to put the wings on and end up in a situation where I can't fly it out of here. Um, I'm not going to put the wings on until it's just about 100% done. So my plans for this plane are to put uh, something turbo in it. The guy that I bought this from um, has a turbo 320. So that has a Ray J kit on it. It's turbo normalized. And I think that'd be a great option. But I really want to be able to get up high in this and cruise super fast. The people that put 0320s in these, I've seen some numbers between uh, saying like 170 and 190. Even some people saying over 200 knots cruise they get out of a 320 on this airplane. So I think a turbo is really going to get me up there, get up, you know, maybe closer to 20,000 feet or so. So with that is going to come onboard oxygen. I'm going to have, you know, nice avionics. I'm going to be going all Garmin glass if I can. Uh, so this is going to be an IFR aircraft. Just really kind of take this to like the next level for what the 235s are that I've seen. Uh, might be, you know, I, I don't know. I, I might get some flack for that. Like it might be too much for such a small airframe. But I really think this is going to be a great, super fast economic cruiser. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go with the 320. I'd really like to go with UL Power's 520T. That is also a turboed engine. So that's going to get me way up high. But instead of 150 horsepower like the 320, that's closer to about 220 horsepower, so that'll really expedite climbs and give me a little bit more headroom up at, uh, you know, maybe some higher DA strips where I really need that good lift because these airframes are not really known for being light on runway. They, they need quite a bit to get going, but um, either way, I'm going to be making, uh, trying to make some pretty regular videos on this. I, I've been pretty terrible about that in the past with both the Zenith and the Mooney, but I would like to really document this one just because there's so few of these airframes out here. I don't know if you can really buy them from Lance Air anymore. Um, so this is one of the, the few that's been mostly untouched that we have to play with. So I uh, appreciate you uh, watching. I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you could follow along. This is going to be quite an adventure over the next couple of years. We'll see where life leads over that time. I know I'm, I'm kind of in a point where things can go either way. But either way, I'd really like to uh, get this done and get this to be a, a pretty sweet plane within reason. I'm not going to go crazy. It's not going to get like a PT-6 on it. I'm not Mike Patey. But I'm definitely going to do my best to make this thing pretty awesome with some good avionics and an engine and just make this thing crazy fast.